that Mickey Joseph incident was a jolt to the fan base. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's a big jolt. I mean, I had a few people tell me last night, again, at Omaha Holy Ghost, there's probably 140, 150 okay. people. Thank you. It's, it's an incredible um, place. They've been doing that for 40 years, having people go down there and speak on Thursday nights. 40 years minimum. 40 years. And uh, they're the, I mean, I had a couple of women say they felt like it was a death. Um, I mean, it, it, it's been a weird feeling the last couple of days here. Yeah, I haven't fully processed it because things have moved. Just things have moved really fast. Um, just work stuff, mm-hmm. not 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 anything interesting. Um, just work, and I I don't know. I don't know. I I just think it that that has affected the rule discussion because it 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 came to dominate the discussion yesterday right dominated it police pre, police report was released we don't need to i don't think you want to get into all i that, don't dude. really want to do it too much to that um so i think people were well i know they were i know that i know a lot of that crowd in omaha there was it was a jolt to them yeah i mean all in all just an unfortunate series of events for, for obviously for the family but for nebraska football as well and there is a domino effect that happens with this regarding the football program Yesterday, as, as we we had not really seen yeah, much news that. regarding the portal. I mean, it, it had been pretty quiet. And we, I think we all had been expecting earlier in the week, hey, once we know the status of Mickey Joseph, the football coach, not yeah. off the field, but the football coach, we'll know if we have a lot of people people leaving or people staying. And with Mickey Joseph, look, you know, not, not going to be part of the staff, more than likely than not. Um, yesterday, you learned that Ernest Hausman from Columbus, uh-huh. Brant Banks, and to Coldest, to Coldest Crawford have entered their names into the portal. Now, the biggest ones, the biggest one in terms of who played this year was obviously Ernest Hausman, who we said on the show two days ago was one of the most five most important players you wanted to keep. Yeah. Now here's the deal with Hausman. This okay. is what you wonder. Just because you go into the portal doesn't mean you're leaving. Right. And this could just be a leverage play by Hausman for NIL money. How valuable am I, Matt Rule? Let's see. Right? Yeah. I mean, the the collectives had a big meeting yesterday of the Big Red Collaborative and the 1890 Initiative. Um, so the names people know are Chris Brown, the the former kicker. Remember Chris yeah, Brown? Yeah, sure I do. Chris Brown, the former Nebraska kicker, former NFL kicker. Mm-hmm. He's He's kind of the face of the Big Red Collaborative collective. And uh, Matt Davison is the face of the 1890 initiative. Big meeting yesterday. Not just those two people, you know, other people involved in the collectives had a big meeting with Trev. Um, So they're getting the NIL operation set. Um, And back to Ernest Hausman, a guy like Ernest Hausman might just be saying, okay, uh, what am I worth? All right. If you want to keep, if you want to keep me, Let's 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 do some business here, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I, I, coaches called me yesterday, asked me about Hausman, um, two in particular. Um, other coaches, other different programs, schools. Yeah. yeah. My my initial response was the same as yours, saying, "Okay, yeah, he's in the portal, he's, but maybe it's a play to get more nil, or or again, I don't know if he has intentions to leave, or if he, if he has a school picked out he wants to go to. He might. As of as of right now, as, as of his post, he doesn't have a school he's committing to, but maybe he does, but." Your hope is, again, that's a guy you saw definitively get better throughout the year and become one of your better players defensively on your whole team. Really? The way he played the last month of the season? Four games, yeah. Right. But that was your murderer's role we talked about for the season. He played pretty well. He played pretty well. He did. Michigan, again, blowout game, but he played well. He he, he looked fast, had some good hits, wrapped up. (laughs) He did. He did. He did. Wisconsin, Iowa, same story. Michigan, Michigan had... He had ten tackles, but you. But what when he hit, ten. it was the hardest hitting person on the field for Nebraska. Well, at least, well, yeah. There's no but. That's a big number. Tackles, ten. His first sack against Wisconsin. He had twelve tackles, uh, ten solo stops. Um, now, so what you who you watch? I watched closely the teams that were were in on him, beside Nebraska. I mean, I'd watch Iowa. 
Well, that would suck. Yeah, I'd watch Kansas State. I watch Michigan. I'd watch Michigan. Michigan State. saw him. I'd watch PJ person. Fleck. I'd watch PJ Fleck here. Um, yeah, you, you kind of hope he doesn't end up in your division. Right? I, I'm gonna say this. I, I just a guess. I think Michigan goes after him hard. <laughs> just a guess. Well, that's someone they they saw. They witnessed him play against Nebraska, a game against the Wolverines. Excuse me, a game that they won by 31 points, and that was a per, that was that was a guy making plays on the field mm-hmm. more than anybody else for Nebraska. Uh-huh. So we shall see. Oh, oh, Jake, I'm with you. He played well. I mean, again, the hope is that it's an NIL play and that Matt Rule and whoever the new linebackers coach that comes in will be able to keep him. Yeah. And, if Yeah. And Matt Davison. And, and the yeah. NIL collective. The general yeah. manager. Let's uh, get yeah. him in front of Davison. <laughs> I don't know how that Get works. him in the room. I don't know. I don't want to go down, down that road too far of, you know, Matt's involvement. But, but there's no doubt i mean let's put it this way a lot of players are going to do that they're going to put their name in the portal it's a leverage play mm-hmm. and i'm not saying that hausman's doing that but it would make sense to me if he is um i don't have a read on what what his thinking is but that that's going to happen now now i do have a read on the other ones um or for sure the coldest i think the coldest will, will be gone yep. he, he followed mickey here he did he was, Louisiana. Yeah. And he Mickey was recruiting him at LSU. Mm-hmm. And then and then to Coldest Crawford and just decided to follow Mickey. I here. mean, there are guys that are just tied to him. Yeah. And so did they like Nebraska enough to stay here if he's not here? I don't know. But it, it, it does Mickey get a job anywhere. That's the big question. Is if can can he go anywhere you know, with the this inter- situation? You know the interesting thing right now that we haven't talked about much is the most of the staff, it's pretty clear, isn't going to be back. But the one that we we don't know right now that has a shot, it looks like, is Donovan Rayola. Um, I mean, Donovan is his name's attached to recruits on social media. He's you know, and I was told that he's that he's in the hunt. Um, now there's a guy named Dylan Rayola. You may you may you may have heard of him before. He's pretty good quarterback. Yeah, and now he is verbally committed to Ohio State, but you know he's he's a twenty twenty four kid. Are they going for the he's same a, play that Scott Frost was going for with Donovan and Dylan? Yeah, maybe. He's a but anyway. There's a long. There's a he's a year away from enrolling. That's a long it time. Is. That's a long time. And there's already. I mean, I'm already. Come on. I mean, I'm not saying his recruitment's open, but it's not closed. Okay. It's not closed. So I guess it's open. Right. Good job. Hey, that's, that's good analysis right there. That's, <laughs> hey, what? what? Easy. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> calm down over there. You calm down. I'm calm. I'm that, the calmest I've ever been. <laughs> I'm still wondering about this shirt. What's wrong with it? <laughs> tell Tell the listeners what's wrong with the shirt. It's. Yeah, go ahead. Speak it to existence. Uh, what's it's aqua? It's shorts. I wear a lot of aqua shirts for my <laughs> do you, do you? for my NFL team. This is not the same color of aqua. It's a lighter color of aqua. It's light aqua. It's got like some flower stuff on it. <laughs> it's got, clover. It's adorned. <laughs> this <laughs> Those I got are not this, clover. I got this at a at a nice golf course. Okay, in, in and it was not a discount either. Now, if it's on discount, you can make fun of it. You got that, that at a nice. A reason. You got that at a nice Walmart. No, I did not. That I bought this at a pro shop at a golf course. <laughs> Those are not clovers, you idiot. <laughs> what are they? What would you describe <laughs> that, that as? Not what would you describe not a, clover. a four-leaf clover? Those are not four-leaf clovers. A leaf? Gosh, what the are problem? they leaves? All right, we have to get this back on track. Idle chit chat sponsored by James <laughs> yeah. Lawn Care and Lincoln. Yeah, and I shouldn't judge your shirts because I'm wearing a t-shirt. I don't know why you don't fire back at me. Well, it's, I, I, you know, I love the Lincoln T-shirts. That's yeah. our friend Derek Bond. Oh, that's why you those shirts. Back. I love those shirts. Oh, that's why I wear them on vacations a lot. <laughs> Bring them with me. My wife makes fun of me, saying, "Well, another Lincoln shirt." Said, yeah, I'm showing where I'm from to all the people here. Put on for my city. I put on for my city. Sometimes I, I don't know. Um. Anyway, idle chit chat sponsored by Newton's Lawn Care. Yeah, I am. I mean, we got a little more idle chit chat here. 
The cough drops are back. And someone who comments on the cough yeah. drop situation, Dakota, says, great. The cough drops are back. At least use them like an adult, not sucking them while you talk. Sip. <laughs> John. John says, please spit out the cough drop. Sip. Joe, all cap letters. Take that damn cough drop out of Sip's mouth, Jake. Oh, God. That's three people. Oh, God. Is it noticeable? Apparently so. I've got used to it, so I don't even it doesn't even bother me anymore. But yeah, three people out of nowhere just text about the cough drop. It's situation. clinking around in there. Yeah. I, I just didn't. I just don't know. I know it's clinking around, but I don't know if anybody can hear it. But I'm right on the microphone. There, there, uh, there, <laughs> now there it is. Another person says the cough drop noises are extreme today. Sipple has no room to be bashing your shirt. <laughs> 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 the cough drop noises. I mean, we're in a situation here because they do help. You notice they do help the, the, the moment that you start coughing, though. And they don't help, then you know you gotta get rid of them. Okay, but you've noticed that they do; they are effective. I don't clear my throat as much. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have to duck out by the beside the microphone and cough. Would, would the texters prefer you to suck on a cough drop and avoid coughing, or or once in a while hear the epic coughs that you have at times? Epic coughs. There's, that... there's some epic ones, and I have some epic coughs too. Okay, but you have them more often than me. <laughs> I made fun of your shirt, so you I did. have Yeah, look, coming. look, you brought, you had it coming. I have it you coming. brought it upon yourself. I am making fun of that shirt, by the way. Well, if people are watching on the video stream, you can tell, you can see my shirt. It's a July or you, it's like a June well, shirt. Well, listen, I wear polos throughout the year. A I'm a, I do sales after the show. It's my attire I wear. I go through the wardrobe in my closet, and I pick out the same rotation of shirts, basically. <laughs> this one's not in the rotation. It's outside the rotation. I went, I brought it in for a random Friday. Is the shirt crazy? Viewers on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube? Yes. Idle Chit Chat, sponsored by Newton's Lawn Care. Okay. All right. So I have a question. Okay. Okay. We've already discussed how Ernest Houseman, Brant Banks, Decoldis Crawford in the portal. I'm sure there'll be more players to enter um, as the week goes on, as the weekend approaches, and we okay. have next week. Yeah, I, I imagine. The portal goes crazy December 5th, right? That's Not, when it opens okay. up. Now, now, there's a whole discussion there. I thought they couldn't go in until December 5th, and nobody's really given me an adequate answer as to what, what's going on here. What, I, I didn't think the portal opened until December well, 5th. Well, maybe it's not open, but you can you can make your intentions known before that, possibly. I, the coaches know who's in the portal right now. They're in. Okay, anyway. Can they pursue them until the 5th, though? There's a question. Legally. Yeah, but legally. Um, what's legal anymore in college football? Well, and I don't know, but. Tampering it seems to be encouraged at this point. We do know, we do know that it's open for this period until January 18th, I think is the date. January 18th. So that, that's the period. Now, will there be players from Nebraska going in every single day? I, I hope not. I don't think it'll work that way. Um, well, when you have a new coach and, and you have assistants leaving, and it's pretty much all an entirely new staff, Mm -hmm. You're gonna have roster turnover. It's it's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. I mean, you could have you could have brought in Nick Saban and had roster turnover, guys leaving. I suppose that'd be odd for those players to leave, knowing that's the, the best coach we've ever it, seen. It would be because that coach is saying you can't play here. Probably you're probably not probably. gonna play here. And some of that is happening. I mean, there are player coach meetings that I don't know if those those sorts of meetings have transpired yet. Rule doesn't only has six of his coaches in place. Um, and I don't know if they're if they've been in town meeting with their position groups. It seems like that would yeah. be very quick. Um, but there are some players that will be told, look, it probably is not going to work here. That happens. It's probably not going to work. You know, I mean, you can stay. But I mean, this is this is who's ahead of you. Well, at this point, you don't know who your defensive coordinator is for Nebraska. No, you, don't. you don't know your linebackers coaches, right? You know, you know, Terrence Knighton's defensive line. You got Evan Cooper is Cor corners, corners some portion slash recruiting. Yeah. But you don't you don't know linebackers and you don't know the coordinator. I mean, there's, a lot of, there's some missing parts that are very important in terms of keeping guys around or assessing the situation. Here. So so does it is it. What does it say to you that Hausman left? Before there's a defensive coordinator or a linebackers coach in place, well, it's to me it's 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 just the uncertainty of the situation right now for Ernest. Mm -hmm. Is he is he just doing this to know I I have 
I can go back to Nebraska. I can't, but I can also see what's out there, see what feelers are out there for schools. If there's NIL money out there that's bigger than here or or just better. Mm-hmm. So, it's, by the way, by the way, regarding the portal, and you're right, it's supposed to open up the fifth. I mean, there was news yesterday that Cade McNamara is going to Iowa. The Michigan transfer, that's, per Iowa reporters, is, is going is committing to Iowa. Is that right? Cade McNamara. The guy who started in Lincoln last year in, in the great game that Nebraska, that Nebraska lost close, that lost the job to J.J. McCarthy I know, this year. Yeah, Cade yeah. McNamara played very well in Lincoln he's a, last, he's a good last player. season, 221. 2020. He's he's an upgrade for sure over Alex Padilla and Spencer Petrus. Hot. Take. You and me are are upgrades over <laughs> yeah, those two guys. Very hot take there. Just making sure <laughs> people are right on a limb. I'm just yeah. making sure you and I could be upgrades right. against over Petrus yeah. and Padilla. Yeah. But McNamara's legit. Yeah. Just when I start now, hold on, hold on though. Did he commit to Brian Ferentz? I mean, I just saw reporters from Iowa saying that Matt McNamara is going there. But yeah, who did he commit to? Is that, if you were in a press event, you say, yes, I hope it was Brian Ferentz. Keep Brian does Ferentz. Does Kirk Ferentz say, hey, my son just brought in one of the best transfer quarterbacks available? Yep, better keep him, Kirk. You better keep Brian. And does this mean Iowa has turned up its NIL game? Because they, they haven't been. No. They're not an operator. But they must be. I mean, they haven't been now. They, they must be now. McNamara's not going there for free, right? No, no, no way. No. In fact, this is th- that's what's interesting about this to me, and I will look into it for Monday. They must be Iowa must have jumped in to the NIL game. About time. It's about it's time. It's also possible, and, and and we're working through these conversations. It's also possible that McNamara doesn't need the money and doesn't care about that. There are players like that, Jake. They do exist. Yeah, there are players that just don't participate in it. They literally don't participate. They just don't. I don't know why they don't. There's probably various reasons they don't. But McNamara, that is a huge Yeah, I don't, get. Know, I don't know the NIL situation with Iowa. It doesn't say the article right now. It's, it's not clear enough exactly what got him to go there. But, But here's the deal. If you're a Nebraska fan, and you make fun of Iowa now, now, Brian Ferentz. Hang on a second. And you make fun of Brian Ferentz. Okay. Why would you want him to leave? Why would you want If him? Brian Ferentz is is helping you beat Iowa because he's inept and won't change his ways, you should want him to be there as long as you can. Yeah. And make I fun know. of him. Yeah. Not call for a fire. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, Brian Ferentz isn't particularly interesting to me. McNamara had a serious knee injury. Um, Kaz is saying... Um, you guys read anything? I don't think he can play next year. It was a grad transfer. I know, I'm looking at a picture of him, and his he's got he had just had major knee surgery, so I don't think next year he would play. Well, that's odd then to sit out for a year. Yeah. Um, Regardless, that's the that was the news in Iowa was that Cade McNamara is going to play for the Hawkeyes. To Iowa. Wow. Anyway, they needed a quarterback badly. So yeah, I don't know how this what this portal thing's going to look like for Nebraska. I just don't. There's some big names though that you're looking at. AJ Allen, right? Yep. And 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 Garrett Nelson. I mean, those are the two that really are big to me. Um, I haven't heard anything for the record, by the way. I haven't heard anything about AJ Allen thinking about leaving. I well, heard- that'd be nice. Again, he 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 came here. You know, Brian Applewhite was a big reason why he came here. Now he will not be part of the right. staff. Brian Applewhite's not gonna be in with Nebraska right. going forward. But, but I have not heard anything that I, – now, I've heard that Garrett Nelson may be considering leaving. So – and I don't mind saying that because I was told by someone who knows very well about what's going on. Um, but I don't, I, don't, I don't think anything's final there. It's pretty fluid, Jake. Everything's pretty fluid. I, I just assume that – The roster is really fluid. I just assume that today, <clears throat> Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, you're going to hear just a lot of different – pieces I'm, I'm entering into the portal even though it officially opens on the fifth yeah since people are already starting to say it, i mean now it's like okay i'm supposed to wait till the fifth but i'm gonna do it right now why not yeah so expect to see just some pieces yeah going in there i think you're probably right why, why is that yeah i mean why is that so crazy to even say that it's not crazy it. i mean you're seeing across the country I, I see all the time i'm putting my name into the portal i mean it's not like this is nebraska doing something that nobody else is doing no that's ahead of ahead of the portal period, that is why the talk. Well, 
we don't have to reopen this wound, but this whole thing about what are your expectations next year? Having that conversation right now is why, why do you have it now? You don't know what the team's going to look like. Why put it? Are we going to do, we're going to do this again. Again, where we're going to get in a fight. Why put expectations on a head coach when you don't know what the roster is going to look like? Well, it is hard to do that. It's just, a, it's just a general expectation for the program when you have, the second highest paid coach in the conference. With, to which I will continue to ask you this question. He's okay. He's making seventy four million. Yeah, over eight years. What if he was making fifty two million over it, seven? It probably then. Then would you change your expectations? Would you say okay? He doesn't have to win six. Let's just say four. He's only making fifty two million. Well, I, I. Why does that matter? I'd say this. I mean, regarding this year's team, look at what happened this year. They went four and eight. If you talk to almost anybody, they, they would say that, hey, you, you should have beat Wisconsin. You had that game wrapped up. That's a productive discussion. Saying he's making $74 million, therefore should win six games, that's not productive to me. Well, it's a general expectation for that coach. I guess. Sort of. I, I, but again, can, can we? why is it so ridiculous to still expect just make a bowl game? It's six games. Do you, wh- we're not going to do this. Nebraska has found epic ways to not be in a bowl game the last couple of years where they had it. You know, Wisconsin, they had the game wrapped up. They were winning for 59 minutes. Here's why they lost. Here's why I find it repulsive. Because it, it once again, it's Nebraska fan you. It's not hot. It's, six wins it's, is it's not Nebraska hottie. fan you Mm-mm. just just saying, I need everything right now. I just need it right now. And that's what that's been the problem here, a lot of it. I think I, I, I think you're hearing me say nine, ten wins. I'm not. I'm saying six. Don't hear things I'm not saying. Or I'll take my ball and crawl in the corner and go home. I would I would bet that if you're Matt Rule, if you talk to me, you'd say, well, why why shouldn't we have a goal to make a bowl game or expect Goal is one thing, but you taking your little ball and crawling into the corner if they don't is another. I'm not crawl I'm not crawling in the corner. I'm out here in the playground, baby. <laughs> I'm right in the middle saying, Come at me. <laughs>